Father, uh, before I begin, bless me, Father, for I'm about to sin. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> well, I just want you to know, I may be Irish, but I'm not stupid. I married Dominic Giacoppa's daughter. Okay? <laughs> Assistance Act of 1961, translated into the French language, a uh, total of $800 million in defense. Mr. President, what will it take for you to send the Polish makes that President Zelensky is asking for? I'm not going to come on that right now. I'm not going to come on any other than what I've told you today. Thank well, you. Well, Mr. President, you're going to go to the war criminal, sir. He said it's your own name. Are you going to go? You said he's not going to come it. He didn't say that it's not an option. So well, we, we've well, spoken to it yeah. for approximately 167 times. Well, so maybe he, but, yeah. Well, here's 168. Go ahead. Go there's ahead. Growing, there's a growing number of Republicans and Democrats who are supporting the U.S. striking a deal with Poland to send the mix. You have uh, Elise Stefanik earlier today saying, you have uh, Scalise saying getting those MIGs in immediately is critical. There's a growing chorus of voices saying that now is the time. Has the president reconsidered his stance at all at this point? No, because our military makes assessments, uh, which they put out that assessment last week, and I would just echo that one part of the assessment uh, is based on what equipment is affected. Uh, I don't think that's enough, Jen. You heard President that are not being, Kristen, that are not, Kristen, that are not being utilized. This is the assessment by our Defense Department. 